So here are the details for the uh, 2024 New Balance 1080 V13, black with white. It comes in a black and white colorway. And this has a, a Fresh Foam X midsole uh, tech that New Balance use. And it's uh, this one's got the sort of more on the sort of softer side. And it also has a endurance outsole. So that should basically mean that the rubber compound on this used on the outsole should last a lot longer than a standard uh, rubber compound. So again, this is a New Balance tech. And it's primarily made up of all synthetic upper materials and the price was £160. So with the details for the Nike Air Invincible Run 3, it's a uh, black racer blue and that is a black, white and racer blue colorway. And this has a Zoom X in the uh, midsole and that's a tech that's been used in this one specifically. And it also has a fly knit upper which is a Nike staple. And uh, the upper material is basically synthetic and the price for this was £175. Both sneakers are, are very nice and uh, the Invincible One 3 has uh, Zoom X in the uh, midsole and that for me makes it more comfortable and also it has enough sort of give and softness but still on the sort of firm side which I personally prefer uh, to be honest. I think uh, for me in terms of tech it feels that just enough give, uh, similar to like a boost really, and to me it doesn't feel like it's going to bottom out, I mean I haven't used them enough so I don't know, but uh, at the moment they feel uh, sort of really sort of great on foot and quite sort of neutral at the same time. And the uh, Fresh Foam X I think is actually more softer than the Zoom X, so it just depends on what you prefer, and for me it's kind of near enough the same, but I think with the, the Fresh Foam one it just feels a lot more softer rather than being on the sort of firm side. And with the uh, Invincible Run 3, I think the, they have, a, in my opinion, a, a wide uh, midsole base. So it, for me, that makes it more stable on foot, especially sort of going, you know, sort of contour to your foot in a way. So you have more sort of wider base at the front of the uh, your foot and then also in the heel. So that kind of, uh, again, just adds to that sort of stability. Whilst I felt with the New Balance uh, 1080 V13, the midsole on that one, it just felt a bit unstable. I think you'll probably get used to it over time, but initially, like straight out of the box wearing them, I just felt a bit sort of unstable on them. And obviously for running, that's not a, not a good sign, I suppose. Um, but I'm sure we, we, once you get used to it, it should be fine. And uh, on the Inmates One Free, it has like an outrigger on there, on the, both sides of the forefoot. And again, that sort of adds to the uh, stability and also just gives you a bit more uh, traction and also uh, balance as well. So. Whilst on the New Balance, it doesn't seem to have any kind of outrigger, so you know, so that means there isn't going to be as too much support on your sort of forefoot, especially on the lateral side. And with the uh, Invincible Run Three, what I also notice is it has like a, a flimsy pull tab, and I think that will sort of wear over time. It's already sort of a little bit difficult to get your foot into the uh, trainer anyway, and uh, this pull tab, I don't think it will last that long. It just feels quite sort of flimsy to me. And with the, the New Balance one, there isn't like a tab as such, but the collar, they've given you sort of enough uh, sort of space to put your sort of thumb uh, on there to allow you to sort of get your foot into the trainer. So, and it's, you know, it's quite nicely sort of integrated into the heel collar itself. And with the uh, insoles as well, the New Balance has the better insole in my opinion. It just feels a bit more sort of uh, thicker and softer and plusher. And, uh, you know, Nike are sort of known for using sort of low quality insoles and the Invincible Run 3 is no different. And uh, basically, I feel like if you look at both shoes, the Invincible Run has a longer silhouette. So if you're looking for a trainer going sort of true to size on this is, you know, Invincible Run is sort of perfect for that. And I also think if you have a wide foot, it's also fine as well. And I've been, you know, I bought two different versions of these where one was true to size and one was half size up, which is... What I tend to do with, with runners, I tend to go half size up, but I felt fine in both and there was a minuscule difference, but basically I think if I was to go for the Invincible Run 3 now, it'd probably be in true to size and it seems to be fine as well, like I said, for wide footing, but it just has like a longer silhouette look to it, so uh, you do have it slightly more room in the toe box. Whilst with the New Balance pair, they're kind of renowned for you know, the, the wider silhouette, so on foot it, it does look kind of wider, which is good anyway, so especially if you have a wide foot. And again, I think these ones, you can go true to size and you should be fine with these. And just just remember with both of these trainers, the upper is very sort of flexible and will kind of stretch out even more over time. 
And in terms of the uh, upper materials, they both, you know, have okay -ish materials, and you know, they're all synthetic at the end of the day. But I felt like on f on feel, the New Balance has the better sort of upper quality material, so it's just going to give you that more comfort, I guess. And I feel it will probably last a bit longer as well, in my opinion. But I know the Flynet stuff works really, really well, anyway. But uh, just to be aware of that. So in terms of the ratings, I think the Invincible Run 3, I've still given it a, a 5 out of 5. I think it's, you know, one of the sort of sneakers to beat, especially sort of for running. I wouldn't say, sort of, you know, like maybe not professional running, but if you're kind of just using it for the gym, I think this Invincible Run 3 is like the perfect sneaker because it gives you that sense of balance and also uh, enough sort of softness and firmness at the same time, which is what I think you need for a runner. And it reminds me of like a, a plusher a Pegasus trainer. Whilst the uh, New Balance uh, 1080 V13, it's more on the softer side, and it's obviously good for your joints and things like that. But I feel like the stability on that is not not so great. But if you think of it sort of price-wise, there is a sort of 15 quid difference, and uh, you know, and the New Balance has got some certain features like being sort of a wider silhouette, and also you know having uh, better uh, materials that are used on it. So I think you know either version is really good, and it's very sort of marginal in terms of scores, but. If I was to come down to it, you know, I think both of them are very, very good trainers to buy and I wouldn't sort of choose one over the other. But if, you know, if you say to choose one, I'd probably choose the Invincible Run 3 because it just, like I said, it just feels more stable and just more easier on foot. And uh, I prefer the comfort level on that. But some people may prefer a softer uh, comfort level and especially maybe if you're sort of doing long uh, distance running, then maybe the New Balance is good for that. 